Hi. In this video, we will see two of Excel's lookup functions, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. They are among the most frequently used tools in Excel because they allow users to transfer large quantities of data based on a given criterion. Let's see their application in practice. There are two tables in this worksheet. The table on the left is the one that we saw in our previous examples, whereas the table on the right is a new one. It is really similar to the table on the left, but includes only some of the teams. Its content is empty and needs to be filled. What we would like to do is to use a formula which would find the corresponding fields in the table on the left and populate them here. VLOOKUP is suitable for such purposes. Let's see the four arguments of the function. LOOKUP VALUE The value to be found or, in other words, the value which serves as key and makes the connection with the data source. In our case, these are Lazio and Borussia in cells H4 and H5. Table Array The table within which we look for the value that needs to be found. The table on the left. Or, let's call it the source table. That is the table from which we will extract data. Column index number, the column from which we would like to extract a value when there is a match. Range lookup, tells the formula whether to look for the closest match or for an exact match. The two possible values for this argument are true or false. When we select true, we are saying that it is okay to find the closest match, while false indicates that we want an exact match. Please pay attention to the fact that the value which needs to be found, the lookup value, has to be in the first column of the source table. Let's see how the formula is applied in our small but easy to understand example. In the table on the right, we have the teams Lazio and Borussia. Our goal is to extract the information related to them from the source table. Let's type plus VLOOKUP. Select as a lookup value H4, which is the name of the team Lazio, and select a table where to look, the cells from B4 to F12, or as we call it, our source table. We can immediately notice that our lookup value, Lazio, is contained in the first column of the selected table, which is good as it is a necessary condition, as we said before. Let's type 2 as the third argument of the formula, as we want to populate the country field, which is the second column from the source table. The last argument will be false, because we need an exact match. As you can see, the function was able to recognize that the value we were looking for was Lazio, and it supplied to us the result from the second column of the source table, Italy. Let's copy and paste the formula in H5, where we have Borussia. We receive an error message from Excel. The not available sign tells us that Excel was not able to find a value which matches the one that we searched within the first column of the table. We know for sure that there is some mistake as we are able to see that Borussia is in the first row and first column of the source table. Let's click F2 and see which arguments are considered within the formula and verify that they are the ones which had to be selected. Yes, there was a problem as the source table changed its location. We didn't fix its references with dollar signs. Let's make this correction to our formula. Okay, now it should work. And it does. Let's copy the formula to the right. Again, we receive the same error message. This time, the problem is that the lookup value changed its position. We need to take care of that as well by impeding it from changing its column position, putting a dollar sign in front of the column reference. Our output is Italy. It is the same as before because we also need to change the number of the column from which VLOOKUP makes an extraction. Changing it to 3 should solve this problem. 
and it does. The result is no, and it is correct as Lazio did not participate in the Champions League. Now what we need to do is copy the formula for the rest of the table, remembering to change the column index number when we make extractions from new columns. Let's move on and see how the HLOOKUP function works. It is very similar to VLOOKUP. The only thing that changes is the direction. We could say that VLOOKUP works in terms of columns, while HLOOKUP works in terms of rows. The lookup value is the first row of the source table, and we need to indicate the row of the table from which to extract the necessary data. Let's check it out with the help of an example. We have a source table on the left, and a table to be filled on the right. The HLOOKUP function requires the same arguments as VLOOKUP. Let's type HLOOKUP and select as a lookup value Milan in H4 and fix only the column reference H in order to block the column movement of our lookup value but allow it to remain flexible for rows. We need to select the source table as well. I'll fix all of the references in order to facilitate our later work. Now, HLOOKUP needs us to select as a third argument the row from which it should extract a value. Given that we are looking for country and it is in the second row of the source table, I will select 2. The fourth argument will have false because we need an exact match. After we have completed the selection of the function's arguments, we can close the brackets. The result that we obtain is Italy. The formula seems to be working. We can apply it for the rest of the table. The only thing that needs to be modified is the respective number of the row from which we need to extract data. This was our video dedicated to lookup functions. We hope that you found it useful. Thanks for watching.